Hey guys, so the moment you all were waiting for Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra vs iPhone 12 Pro Max, Exynos 2100 vs A14 Bionic, the battle of flagships and the battle of 5 nanometer in-house silicons. Yeah, both these are amazing phones like super expensive phones on the planet from these two gigantic brands and by the way the battery drain comparison is coming in a few hours so make sure to subscribe and like this video right now. So we'll kick things with fingerprint scanner test versus face id and yeah both looks fast. Once again that is quick on both. Now opening some basic applications like dialer a little bit quicker on the iPhone messages now camera taking a selfie that's quick on both yeah by the way the camera comparison is coming really soon now settings one UI versus iOS that looks clean so both are really fast now some heavy games and starting things with angry birds here we go from now on you will see the real difference Alright, so Exynos 2100 wins this one and that's a huge margin I would say. Now COD and that is quick on iPhone, it's like in a snap. Mortal Kombat, an intensive game with amazing graphics and we'll see a huge difference in there cause that's a huge game. You also do note the design difference, a punch hole versus a notch which we are seeing from last 5 years and the bezels are slim on both. And Samsung S21 Ultra is the winner here and that's by a noticeable gap, display looks amazing on both. Final game PUBG and it says loading, this one is Korea based PUBG. And that is quick on iPhone, not a huge difference at all. Now some internet based applications like Instagram and their Samsung wins, the feeds and all. Opening Samsung's own story and that's quick on both. Now my profile. So looks like Samsung is facing some issues in loading the profile and all. Yeah, these kind of applications are always more optimized in iPhone. So now Reddit, fast on S21 Ultra. Now opening a post, S21 once again. So yeah, these were some heavy games and applications, the opening speed and closing animations. Now we'll do the rendering and exporting stuff, 50 MB word document. And let's see which one wins this race. So here it is and that's A14 Bionic which is really fast for you all but Samsung is not far at all. Scrolling the document and looks smooth on both. Now rendering 1 minute 15 seconds 1080p video at 60 fps. Let's go. Y'all I can say Samsung has done an amazing job like last year's Exynos 990 was never this close to iPhone in terms of speed. And wow, iPhone wins this one and S21 is also done. So not a huge gap once again. RAM management test and dialer, messages, angry birds, Mortal Kombat, PUBG, Instagram and finally Reddit. Yes, yeah, always can see impressive management by one UI and iOS, no shocker at all. They never let down in terms of RAM management at least. Now finally benchmarks and here we go. So iPhone wins the testing round and scores 6,36,000. The Samsung S21 Ultra is like 10 to 20 seconds late 
and scores 6 lakh 45,000 which is impressive. Samsung did an amazing job this time and all I can say is iPhone was already impressive and the iOS was amazing but Samsung is the new king and it is here to stay. One UI plus Exynos 2100 is an amazing combination. So this all guys thanks so much for watching make sure to like and subscribe I'll meet you guys in the next one. Peace out.